Travel Across America with me. And we are in Birmingham, Alabama. We did a five-mile walking tour. It's off the beaten path. Most people think of going to a big city like Chicago or Atlanta or Dallas or L.A. or New York. But we went to Birmingham, and boy, is there so much in store. From architecture to arts, from peanuts to hot dogs, there is so much to discover in downtown Birmingham. Let's go to the heaviest corner on earth. I saw this and I thought, what on earth does that mean? Ah, no pun intended, but this is dubbed the heaviest corner on earth. And let's learn why. First, let me tell you where it's located. It's at 20th Street and 1st Avenue North in Birmingham, Alabama, of course. During the Birmingham boom in the early 1900s, Four of the tallest buildings in the country with structures made of steel were erected in the heart of the magic city. That is the term that is given to Birmingham because it was like magically all these buildings appeared. That's kind of an interesting thought. The Woodward Building, now a bank, was built in 1902, followed by the Brown Marks Building in 1906, the Empire Building, now the Ellington Hotel, in 1909, and finally, the American Trust and Savings Building, now the John A. Hand Building, was built in 1912. I'm going to be showing you pictures of each of these buildings from yesteryear and from photographs and videos I took just the other day. The heaviest corner on earth is a promotional name that was given to this corner in the early 20th century. The name reflected the nearly simultaneous appearance of four of the tallest buildings in the South. The Woodward Building at 10 stories tall, the Brown Marks Building at 16 stories, also the Empire Building at 16 stories, and the 21-story American Trust and Savings Bank Building. The announcement of the last building was made in the Jemison Magazine in a January 1911 article titled, Birmingham to have the heaviest corner in the South. Over the years, that claim has inflated to the improbable heaviest corner on earth, which remains a popular name for this grouping of buildings. And it certainly drew our attention to this corner. I was intrigued by these older pictures and all the horse-drawn carriages out front. Look at the structures. Aren't they gorgeous? Look at the detail. Now look at this building today. It's simply stunning. Before I go into detail of each of the buildings, I want to tell you a little bit more about Birmingham. It is the most populous city in Alabama, founded in 1871 during the Civil War construction period by merging three small towns. Birmingham remained a primary industrial center from its foundation to the end of the 1960s. Its major industries were steel, iron, and automobile. Wait till I take you to the Sloss Furnaces. That place was incredible. I can't believe they let us walk around like they did. But anyway, back to what I'm trying to say here. The growth was disrupted by an outbreak of cholera and the Wall Street crash in 1873. The 20th century began with rapid construction, downtown was redeveloped, and the city earned the nickname of the Magic City. Between 1902 and 1912, Four large office buildings were constructed at the intersection of 20th Street. The economy and growth were disrupted again by the Great Depression of the 1930s. During World War II, when the demand for steel and iron increased, it gave Birmingham a rapid return to prosperity. And I have often heard that Birmingham is the Pittsburgh of the South. Okay, let's talk about the buildings. The Woodward Building, now a bank, was built in 1902. At this corner, you will find one of the heaviest corner on earth markers. It says 1904. Next was the Brown Marks Building, built in 1906. Renovations were being done on the lower floor, and we could not really get too close to this building, but we got some decent pictures. I wonder what they're doing. This is in the sidewalk. Heaviest corner on earth, 1906, Brown Marks Tower. Next is the 16-story Empire Building, built in 1909. I like this one the best. Well, I don't know. The bank across the street, Caddy Corner, was pretty cool, too. But there were two I liked and two that I didn't find too exciting. But this was one of the ones that I found really beautiful. What do you think? Kind of tall and skinny, isn't it? But look at the detail of this architecture. Simply beautiful. So ornate. So detailed. They don't go to that trouble anymore, do they? Just throw up some glass. They just construct so much with glass now, and we don't see this type of architecture, except for in these old buildings that are being taken care of. And finally, the American Trust and Savings Building. Have you subscribed yet? If not, why not? And if you have, thank you. 
now the John A. Hand Building, built in 1912. These four buildings make up what has been deemed the heaviest corner on earth. Now let's look at this American Trust and Savings Building. Again, look at the detail. And look, they have a clock. I love those clocks. Have I ever mentioned that I love these clocks? All kinds of clocks. Notice the Jefferson County Historical Commission sign of the American Trust Savings Bank, 1912. Safe deposit vaults. And as we go around town, we're going to see this fairly often. These people must have had a lot more money than we do these days because there are a lot of safe deposit boxes and vaults. I wonder if they're even used any longer. Simply gorgeous, don't you think? In May of 1985, the Birmingham Historical Society placed a marker that stands on the sidewalk outside the Empire Building describing the group. These buildings have been listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Three were listed individually in 1982 and 1983, and the group of four was listed as a historic district in July of 1985. Now, let me read the sign. At the turn of the 20th century, Birmingham was a small town of two and three-story buildings with a few church steeples punctuating the skyline. During the industrial boom from 1902 to 1912, which made Birmingham the largest city in the state, four large buildings were constructed at the intersection of the city's main streets. The Woodward Building was the city's first steel frame skyscraper. A good example of the Chicago School style of architecture. It brought a dramatic change to the vertical scale of the existing Victorian city. In 1906, the 16-story Brown Marks building rose on the northeast corner. In 1908, an addition more than doubled its size. Its principal tenant was United States Steel Corporation. The Empire Building, 1909, was built on the northwest corner, and a John A. Hand building was built in 1912 at the southeast corner. Completed the heaviest corner, sheathed in marble, limestone, and terracotta. They exemplify the more ornamental neoclassical style. Along the cornice of the Empire Building, E stand for the Empire Improvement Company, which built the tower. At the time, the height and mass of these buildings was so impressive that the intersection of First Avenue North and 20th Street was proclaimed the heaviest corner on earth. Today, these buildings represent the most significant group of early skyscrapers in the city. And where do you think I will be taking you next on our five mile walk through Birmingham? You know, I don't know yet. Because I've got art, I've got culture, I've got history, I've got cathedrals. I don't know. You'll just have to wait and see. Please tell a friend about my channel. If you like architecture, I have an architecture playlist. You will want to binge on that. Sandals on the ground. And classic road trip.